Hi, welcome to today's video. Got young Basil with me today. We're going to be doing a quick uh, India ink sketch looking through the view behind me here in the Cardi paper sketchbook. Uh, it's going to be quite a quick one. I'm busy uh, doing work for exhibitions lately, uh, RBSA candidates exhibition. So I've got six drawings on show there. I've just had a piece of work, another drawing accepted into the uh, New English Art Club. And what else have I done? I've got a drawing of some boats, the holes at Myler Harbour, except that's gone into Bath Society of Artists at the moment. And I've got other exhibitions going on, or I'm involved in other exhibitions around the country. So uh, yeah, let's, without further ado, let's get this book opened and get started. This is what I've brought with me today to, to do a bit of sketching of that uh, view across there through the uh, gap towards Low Pool. And Basil's with me today, enjoying himself. Uh, so we've got Cardi, probably use the big one here, the bigger ones, but A5 size. Cardi rough, skate, rough paper sketchbook. I've got my, always have a couple of bulldog clips to keep the paper clamped usually on one side or both sides if needed to stop the wind blowing it around. Got my water container, which was the kids' old school mm. drinks bottle. We're using uh, this uh, Bombay India ink Dr. P.H. Martins today. A couple of paint brushes, uh, flat and around, and here comes a plane, just when you're trying to do a bit of intro. Thank you very much. So where were we? Yes, so I've got the, the Bombay India ink, which is what we're going to use today for a bit of fun. Similar sketch to what was in there yesterday. I'll show you that in a minute. Flat around and a couple of pencils, one water soluble, one not. Just normal graphite pencil and a pencil sharpener. So that's all we've got today. And I wanted to use India ink because I enjoyed yesterday's sketch. I put Will Uni and that's what I did with the India ink yesterday and I want to do something similar today because I enjoyed it so much I thought yes that's what we'll do for today's video. Okay the first thing I want to do is just draw something out with this uh, dipper. But the, what I've found is, is you don't want to be putting too much ink out because uh, if you put too much out, it's very difficult to get back to any lights, lighter tones. It just stays really dark. That's what I've found anyway. So I'm just going to... And it's just started to drizzle now, which is bad luck, because that means it's not going to sit on there as well as I dope. So I'm just going to put some scratchy ink marks in place. And I just want to make sure where the pool is over there I'll leave an area something like that and look at that it's just raining now would you believe it just got set up ready to go and it's raining so I'm just going to brush some water on there to add to the water that's coming down from the sky So that, I've already gone over that bit which I didn't want to go over, which is there. So I'm going to probably end up having to draw, do more drawing into this than I was expecting to. Let's pull this across, the tones are very similar in there. So we're going to, that is over there, so that's where the, the pool is there. And there's a little bit you can see there. We're going to try and keep that in place if I can, even though it's now raining. And this is not going well. I've gone, see, I've gone too dark already there. 
lost it. So rain is now coming down. Poor Basil hasn't got his coat. At least it's not too uh, cold. It's quite warm actually. But uh, yeah, not good. Not when you're trying to do a water-based sketch. But what I'm going to have to do here, because I've started to lose this now, the ink has already bled because of the rain as well. The ink's bled into places I didn't want it to go. So I'm going to have to do more drawing than I was expecting. So we've lost the tree here. That lovely sort of dark of the tree. And I can't get that hedgerow back with the ink because the paper's not obviously not going to dry now because of the rain. So I'm just this is the Progresso Aquarelle. So this is the like a water soluble pencil. So I'm just going to start to see if I can draw into that and rescue this a little bit if I can. It's not looking too hopeful, so I'm going to have to use that. That's what you need to do, really, I think, with something like this, is to find areas of light that's been left from where you put the ink on and use them as your lights now. So, accidental lights. And you we need to, so we need to use utilize those as best we can and see if we can come up with something now I purposely didn't bring any white paint today because I didn't want to use it I just wanted to just see what I could do with this ink and the pencil we've lost a there's a lighter field behind there which we've lost now I would probably get that back in if, it, if the rain stops I can get that tree back in by allowing the paper to dry a little bit. Sorry for the shaky camera work, but I'm holding the camera by, obviously by my hand, there's no, no tripod today. As this is, this is just a quick, I want this to be a quick sketch in the field with this ink. So let's see, let's, that's a bit lighter up there. Let's see if we can the rain has eased off slightly, so let's see if we can use the, the brush again at the top. Let's try and reintroduce that a little bit. See, so we can always go back over with darker ink if we need to, but what we didn't want to do is lose the lights. So I'm going to try and get this dark back in where the tree is by just using neat ink. And hopefully that will I can pick that out. And this, this will make a bit more sense then. Because these that's really the only dark in the whole scene. There's another tree back here. It's not quite as dark, and you see where it's bleeding because the paper's still wet. But that's okay. There's another dark up there as well. That tree. That isn't as dark, so I'm just going to smudge that in. I'm just going to run a few darks along here with this ink. Now I think we'll just draw back into that now. Let's just uh, bring that down. No, there's a there's a dark tree over there. <coughs> that one there. I might put it in. That would go, that would balance it quite well. I think I'm going to just put a hint of that in over here. So that's going to go. So I've got to be careful. I've like, got some nice lights and things over there. So I don't want to go too mad here with this dark. So that's all I'm going to put in. 
now I've washed the brush out and I'm just going to drag that through like that I think we'll just hint at a few of these branches and things so there's the pool we managed to save that with a light there just about and there's this, some dark areas in there and that comes through like that so something like that let's have a little look at what we've got sharpen my pencil uh, rain is coming down again not too heavy so I might just get away with it I'm just going to draw, draw in some uh, hints of trees and things through through this wet ink which, which actually it's dried quite quick on this cardi paper that's one thing with this cardi paper I've noticed it's very absorbent it dries very quickly though here because I've really soaked it it's quite wet let's just see if it's gone through there it hasn't gone through just a little hint of it gone through there on the other side but it keeps its uh, keeps its shape pretty well it's cotton rag it's not like made with wood pulp or anything so it's pretty good at keeping its shape you yeah, see so we've lost that light in there which is a shame because I like that it's a nice branch running through there we've got a tree uh, it runs through here and goes up so I'm not making this too accurate but there's certain things in the drawing which I want to maintain as close as possible to the scene I'm looking at obviously I, I know it pretty well I mean, we was here oh, a while back now a couple of, oh, a few years back now in the frost with Basil when he was younger I'll see if I can find a photo to show you and we had Pip our collie then he was with me and we both sort of sat there together so this is in the same spot as we were back then go on then go what you doing, Basil? Right, I'm just going to try and see if I can draw a few of these uh, hints of fields across the top here now. That might make quite a difference. There's a wooded area that runs down here. There's the, there's the pool in there, so we've got these fields run across the back like this and they go into this wooded area then which drops down like this that goes like that and there's a field there so the woodland stops there And then there's another wooded area, so that's that, that tree. There's your pool. We want to get the, this wood up like that, and then going across. And there's a field that joins onto there, you see. And then goes, swoops up, and then it goes off across there. Another field there, quite dark. This is woodland up there. So we've got some hints of these fields now running around at the back, which is quite nice. And the trees, and this is the, the pool. So we want to maintain this. I'm going to keep this area light, even though actually, if you look at the scene just in there, the trees go up into it, but I'm going to maintain that there because uh, I want to keep the light area because I've lost this one which should have been in there run some scrubby branches through just randomly through here now I'm going to use the water from the rain 
to smudge that a little bit actually. That's handy, I don't have to wet it at all. A few of these, uh, there's another tree in here, we don't really need to make too much of that, we just hint at that one. And we're going to just stop to have a little look at what we've got. There's the woodpecker. I'm just going to do a little bit of work on this tree here. Just to make the shape a bit more like it is. Shame we just lost the, the light area. I don't know if I can get that back. I'm going to try and scrub this bit out here. So I don't think you, that's the problem with the ink, you can't really scrub that back. You can't lift it like you can with watercolour. Not as well. Let's have a look, see if I can scrub that back. That's going to probably go through. Yeah, I've lost that. Just pulled a bit of that off there, so... I don't want to go through though. But paper's thick enough to uh, take a little bit of uh, lifting off. Let's just see if that's gone through or not. No, it's okay, look, see that's quite good. I couldn't lift the ink off because it's uh, permanent, you see, Indian ink. It's not like watercolour, which you can lift off. You right, Basil? He's ignoring me, I think he wants to go home. Uh, so let's get this, let's, let's just try and uh, add to this a little bit down here, it's a bit of that paper that's gone. Not much more I can do to be honest, these tones are really similar. You've always found that with this scene, the tones are so similar. There's a bit up here actually which I've made a mistake on, could do lifting, lifting that water soluble pencil out a little bit there, because there is a field up there not woods, so I'm going to just make a harder edge with the pencil here, like that, to show that the wood's finished there, and we can let that blend in there a little bit, like that. These are the woods then. I think I'm going to have to leave that. So this is the 19th today, 19th of April. That's low pull through the trees. Trees, and that's uh, India ink and pencil. Okay, so that's the uh, little uh, India ink sketch with a bit of uh, water soluble pencil mixed in. Looking through the gap here behind me to uh, low pull. And unfortunately, it's been affected by the rain, hasn't it, Basil? Hey, come here, look. Yeah, yes, it's been affected by the rain, hasn't it? It's, uh, never mind. It's always good fun, and you learn something every time. And uh, although I didn't learn from my mistakes before with the Indian ink, because I it went too dark, but that mainly was because the rain made it bleed a bit, and I couldn't get back to the light areas. So, uh, hey, good fun. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you next time. Bye for now. Come on, Basil. Let's go. Let's wait.